do you need to be a programmer to use Linux? Uh, the misconception that Linux is only for programmers stems from its early days. Back in the 1990s when Linux was primarily targeted at programmers at technically skilled users who could contribute to its development. However, over the past uh, 30 years, Linux has evolved significantly. Modern day Linux is a user friendly has Windows or Mac OS. You don't need to know how to code or says advanced computer science knowledge to use Linux. You can do all your everyday tasks, such as browsing the web, playing video games, and creative tasks without ever touching the terminal. I'm not a programmer, but I am acquainted with programming concepts as I studied computer science in college. However, that's a decade old story. Today, I couldn't tell you a proper algorithm or write a working line of code in my life depend on it. For the past eight years, I've been a tech writer and marketer focused on B2B SaaS. And for the better half of this period, I have been using Linux as my daily driver. Whether drafting articles and managing social media or conducting SEO research, Linux handles it all seamlessly. Sure, being tech savvy helps, which by the way, is equally valid for Windows and Mac OS, but it's not necessary. Linux doesn't demand technical aptitude or computer science knowledge for normal day-to-day -day use cases. Why do I use Linux as my daily driver? All the tools I need for my work are web apps I can access through any browser. This means, uh, <clears throat> this means the operating system I use doesn't really matter much to my workflow. However, I found that Linux offers some particular advantages that make it my preferred choice. Lightweight and portable. One of the biggest advantages of Linux is its lightweight nature. Unlike Windows, uh, which requires at least 8GB of RAM and a fairly decent processor to run smoothly, <laughs> Linux is much more flexible. You can use the older hardware without any issues. Additionally, Linux offers the option of a persistent live USB. This allows you to uh, carry your entire Linux installation on a USB stick and uh, plug it into any computer. An internet uh, cafe in a distant place and get your entire setup running. This level of portability is extremely useful for people who travel a lot and don't want to carry an expensive laptop with them. Unparalleled customizability, it's truly your personal computer. You haven't experienced customization until you've experienced Linux. It's not just about tweaking the colors and changing the wallpapers. Linux lets you dive deeper into how everything works and tweak it to your liking. It's also super easy to make these tweaks and customizations. You can completely revamp the user experience of Ubuntu using web apps alone. And I personally swear by KIDI activities, a unique feature that lets you create custom workspace for your different workflows. Each workspace or activity is complete with its own set of pinned apps, widgets, and custom shortcuts. It's a good send for multitaskers and people are juggling multiple projects on their PCs. 
With Linux, uh, you don't need to worry about changing how you work to fit your PC's restrictions. Instead, you are getting a true personal computer that you can tweak and optimize to your unique workflow. <clears throat> Increased job opportunities. Linux is not just an operating system. It's a valuable skill. If you are familiar with Linux, uh, which you will be if you use it as your main system, people will be looking for your expertise. Knowing basic Linux at the level of a desktop user has helped me land multiple Linux focused gigs. If you are in the tech industry or want to pivot into tech, learning Linux is an easy way to open doors to new opportunities or increase your marketability for relevant positions. Why is my, my problem with Windows or Mac? Until 2017, eh, I was predominantly a Windows user. <clears throat> It was that I liked the Windows, but because it was the default option. I never owned a Mac, but used one of my friend's MacBook Air, found the experience too restricting, and never bothered with it. My journey with Linux began when I was working on a project that required Ubuntu. I found Ubuntu's user interface very unique and charming. It was the first time in my life that I learned I actually have a choice regarding which operating system I use. I soon dwell boot in my Windows system with a copy of Ubuntu 16.04 and started experimenting. Today I have a Windows partition that just collecting virtual dust on my SSD as I use my Linux PC for everything. The only reason I keep it is because some projects require access to Windows specific tools. Linux offers tons of quality of life features that make it an amazing operating system for both programmers and not technical professionals alike. It shares flexibility and customization options, support for all work hardware, and small footprint making a tool that you can adapt to your unique needs and workflow.